Hello everyone, today I'm gonna catch you off guard with a malware sample. Ah, that's right, there's finally Windows malware worth talking about. And don't make a mistake, this is in fact a YouTube downloader, as the icon suggests. Gone are the days of YouTube downloader search or YouTube download toolbar for Internet Explorer. This guy is different. It is a miner. Now, you see, if it was a normal miner, it wouldn't end up on my channel, so it clearly has more to offer, rather than putting itself on startup and uh, just <laughs> mining cryptocurrency on the background. So let's go ahead and run the executable. Does not require admin rights. And welcome to Downloadly Setup. As you can see, that's a template installer. And they didn't really bother to replace the sample image on the left right here. Wanna know why they did not replace the icon, why they did not bother? That is because the installer is not supposed to be started normally. You see, even the icon, if you look at it, it's, it's half-assed. It just <laughs> that doesn't even have transparency. It is kind of blurry. But anyway, I'll get to it in a little bit. Let's go ahead and click accept. And now that's what this is all about. Massive service. Downloadly allows unlimited downloads in exchange for a small amount of your unused processing power, storage and bandwidth managed by Massive. You can control this resource use anytime by choosing resource usage in the app. Remember these words, remember these words. Your idle computing resources are used to mine cryptocurrency, well, that's basically a miner, <laughs> run scientific simulations and perform other distributed tasks, which I highly doubt is gonna happen, they're just gonna mine cryptocurrency on, on our computers. Uh, which in fact, of course, may, may not, not may, it will increase the electricity consumption or decrease, but no, not or, it is going to increase electricity consumption and decrease your battery life. See massive FAQs for details. Dude, <laughs> I absolutely love this terminology. A small amount of unused processing power, storage and bandwidth. How small are we talking? 80% of CPU? How about unused? What do they determine as unused? That is a large question that is unanswered on this window. Oh, so our program has determined that your computer consumes 5% of the CPU after the startup sequence. Hence, we are going to fucking set up an Ethereum miner consuming a small 80% of your i3-8100 processing power. Oh, and, you know, a little bit worth of 5 megabits of your internet bandwidth. The telephone line is obsolete by this point, am I right? You gotta love the vague terms like unused <laughs> or small, a small amount of your unused processing power. I even ranted about this on Twitter, <laughs> when malware is politically correct. And what exactly do they determine by small and unused? It's not stated here. After all, they're the one making rules and you're the one accepting them. Making it consensual does not make it de facto right. Ideally, that's where you press decline and move on with your day. Even more ideally, you don't start that application on your computer at all. <laughs> but that's where my initial point kicks in. This application is not supposed to be started normally. Instead, it is meant to be spread along with other PUPs via malware bundlers. In fact, that's where I got it. A fake installer promoted this piece of software, or well, malware, with the same pretext, but it looked way more inviting and generally it was an eye candy, unlike this ugly installer. And you guessed that I didn't even have a glimpse of the installer. <laughs> Despite that, I extracted the executable and analyzed it, and I have good news. We'll have a look at the arguments it is meant to be invoked with. All right, get ready, folks. We have a little bit of hacking to do. So the executable name slash sp dash slash very silent, very silent <laughs> slash suppress message boxes and enable pro. 
that's the command line. Enable pro, enable PRO. I don't really know what PRO or pro means because, to my knowledge, there is not a pro version of Downloadly. Definitely would buy, not a question, but that's the input. Alright, once we start uh, the executable with these arguments, it skips user consent and installs the miner quietly. Here we have a very professional Windows Forms window. URL is of course lowercase. Uh, let's check out settings real quick. Oops, it's gonna run on startup by default. Apparently you have to be ready to download YouTube videos at any time, especially on computer startup. If we head over to the resource usage tab, we'll find out that we are already in the process of sharing resources with Massive, the developer basically. They're trying to paint that it's their partner. Nah, that's the developer. I read their privacy policy, I surfed to their website, it's definitely owned by the same company. And of course, we do not deserve to see the taskbar usage by default, so we have to enable that in options. If Donnelly and the only option is to exit, let's show taskbar usage. Okay, here's the massive and massive is disabled. If you click the tray icon, it's gonna bring up the graph. And the graph shows uh, GPU, CPU, memory and bandwidth usage in the past hour, day, week, month, year. Don't you fool me, no nobody's gonna have this installed for a year, come on. Nobody that would look at the statistics, at least. Well, you're absolutely not in control of the resource usage as they promised in the installer. Well, where's the control of the resource usage? Can we cap it? We can only see the statistics and we can only enable and disable. The statistics are like, it's it's a joke. <laughs> oh, so here's how much we mined from your computer. Here's how much we stole from you. <laughs> here's your electricity bill. Calculated. <laughs> but still, it's not the best part. The true gem is the fact that it, it is undetected by any malware. I can prove it to you by going to malwarebytes.com slash m mvw download so thank you let's download muller bytes real quick mb setup i kind of wanted to tell you that downloading videos from youtube is not a premium feature well officially that is by youtube you, you have to buy youtube premium to download I think 480p videos, but unofficially it's long been possible to use YTDL, a YouTube download script, which was, I think, taken down multiple times in the past, but ultimately brought back. I assume that Downloadly is a wrapper for YTDL bundled with a miner, which is massive. <clears throat> so that's just a little insider knowledge for you while we're installing motorbytes. So here we are, install successful. Let's scan our computer, see if it detects downloadly. Perhaps it's PUP. Spoiler, it's not, but I just want to prove it to you. Scan. <coughs> okay, so as you can see, nothing. Mullerbytes has not detected downloadly. And it's, it's the best part. If any grandma, with, even with an antivirus, installs Downloadly, the antivirus is not gonna save her. This cannot be. This is unacceptable, Malwarebytes. Fix your database. Do it as soon as possible. If not, this is going to be a little minor that avoids AV detection. Uh, and finally, how do you uninstall this trash? Well, first of all, you are not going to have the installer on hand because it self-destructs. Not in my case, but usually. Because usually the malware bundler deletes the executable after, so that's out of question. I have analyzed this malware and I can confidently tell you that it's gonna fully uninstall via the control panel applet. So you go into run appbase.cpl or alternatively go to control panel uninstall program. Select downloadly, that's important. Take the downloadly click uninstall yes other reason and uninstall 
You're gonna be done with it. Mass Effect executable is gonna uninstall along with it. Update that, go on. So I think that's it for the YouTube Downloader Miner. We might see applications like this appear more and more often in the near future, as they are somehow completely undetected and installed without user's consent. Uh, and so, don't let the terminology fool you, stay safe and take care.